Yeah, the, uh, the idea actually happened um, about a year before I started. Um, I had the idea, you know, electric vehicles on average are four to five times more efficient than internal combustion. So I'm thinking about a way to do it. Most things are much cheaper to start out as than a car. Um, I was also thinking there's got to be a way to get entirely off the grid if you wanted to. So I was you know, thinking about different ways that you can incorporate alternative energy into the, the vehicle itself. And when I thought about the, the fairings that would fold out when you parked it. So I um, did a lot of research into it. Um, yeah, I, I've got a, got a background in, in vehicles, cars. So I knew a little bit about it and also um, machining, um, welding, CAD modeling. So I had a background in it, but it took me a lot of research to actually do it, put it together. So what's the plan with patch? Yeah. Building blocks mm -hmm. along the take her. It took, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It took about, uh, about eight months or so to, um, from when I bought the frame to when it was actually on the road. So it was a long process, but that was you know, during classes. Because that, it wouldn't have taken that long. And actually, it, looking back on it, it wasn't, it was not that technically challenging of a project. So if you can understand how internal combustion works, this is much simpler. Yeah. So right now, um, it's single gear direct drive. So I have it geared for 45 miles an hour, which is for around campus, which is very good. Um, the range is between 16 and 24 miles, which once again isn't bad. But all my daily commute is covered, and all my entire daily commute is also entirely covered by solar. So the solar gives you, it's supplementary, but it gives you somewhere between three and six miles of range additional per day. The rest is done with a wall charger. So my cost of operating is far below a penny per mile. What's your major? My major is physics. Yep. Yep. Uh, where does it go from here? I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, this is just the beginning. Yep. Like that. Actually, coincidentally, in about six hours from now, I'll have a second motorcycle that I'm going to be stripping down this weekend, taking the motor out of, and I'm going to be doing several rather ridiculous things I've never done on a motorcycle before, but electricity gives you the capability of doing the internal combustion would not. Um, that one is going to be a longer term product. Hopefully, next spring it'll be done. But it's, it's going to be a game changer, I think. So, I've got a lot of tricks on my sleeve for it. What, what kind of joy does this bring you? Is, you know, the fundamental sense that the solar power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. way down and crunch way up. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. You have an it. Yeah. Like a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I mean, other than the fact that it's run by solar energy, mm -hmm. it's a motorcycle. True. Um, it, it is a lot of fun. Um, the no noise factor is also, um, it's, it's unique. It's, um, at full throttle, it sounds kind of like a TIE fighter from Star Wars, um, which is definitely a unique noise. Um, you guys get a lot of looks and stares from people, a lot of questions as well. And um, I think half the fun of it is one of the technical challenges because it's such a um, multidisciplinary project. It's not just you know mechanical or electrical engineering. It's, uh, it's a mix of everything. Uh, so that's, that's challenging and fun. But um, oh, the most the most fun part about it is just changing misconceptions about electric vehicles and they're slow, boring, and silly. So um, this one, I think, has changed a little bit, but the next one definitely will. What's the, the funniest to you question you've ever gotten? Um, let's see, funniest question. Um, you, get the, you get the looks, like what, yeah. what the heck is that? Someone asked me if I had um, air filters on the side. They thought that the panels were air filters. Um, well, I mean, a lot of it's just like, what in the world is that? Because it looks so different than anything else. Like, you know, where's your gas tank? And like, well, it's, it's all right in, in here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's unique. A lot of questions about it. And being a you know a vehicle guy yourself, you've ridden, you've ridden on motorcycles, the gasoline version, the unleaded kind. Nope. This. Nope. So you never ridden on the big Harley. Correct. Never, never in a gas a motorcycle. Never built a gas motorcycle. This just sounded kind of like it'd be fun. <laughs> so, probably not the smartest idea. But, but how smooth is the ride? I mean, it's very easy. Um, it's you just, there's no clutch involved. So you just kind of um, you know twist the throttle and start going. So. There's no shifting, no clutch, um, just you know, linear response between the throttle and acceleration. So, awesome. yeah, very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else to add? <laughs> um, so we just started Electric Vehicle Club eight days ago. Um, we've got a lot of cool things up our sleeve for that. I think it'll be pretty exciting. And um, yeah, other than that, I think I think we're good. Um, looking for corporate sponsors for it. Um, uh, you, I mean, you're yeah. you're a pioneer. <laughs> You're a pioneer for solar energy yeah. as far as its capacity is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, it's completely overwhelming. Um, I've got a bunch of exams this week, meetings and everything, and I'm pretty sure I won't be sleeping for the next couple of days. 
but uh, I'm always the kind of person who that's what I'm really in my element when I'm totally overwhelmed and have a ton of things to do. So I enjoy it. Um, there are times where I don't enjoy it. And, you know, I was like, you know, maybe I could get more than two hours of sleep tonight. But um, yeah, so far it's been a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed it. Anything else to add? Anything else we should know? Um, is this is like off the reel? It just kind of like notes or? I mean, um, just anything else you'd like to add? We always give folks the opportunity to, to say maybe if there's a question I would have liked to have been asked, but you didn't get asked. By me. I don't think so. Are you gonna get me? Well, uh, I've heard you guys talk, but I mean, I'm gonna talk about patents and reinvesting. I don't know. Oh yeah, sure. Um, what the purpose of the club? Sure. So the purpose of the club. Um, the official name again. Electric Vehicle Club. We're very original. Um, we're a bunch of engineers and physicists, so we don't have really the marketing or creativity for wording things. Um, <laughs> you should see the logos we designed last night. They were terrible. Um, anyway, beside the point. One um, the things we want to do with the club is we're going to use the club to um, encourage, educate um, people about electric vehicles, um, to spur innovation. Also, we're going to try to use um, patents and intellectual property we develop in the club to help come back and then fund the club. So that's, that's going to be exciting. As far as notes, it's never been done before with the Purdue Club. But um, I think it's going to be very exciting things we come up with. Because already we're getting a lot of um, very talented people just kind of come out of the woodwork. So um, I don't know, when you get a lot of people like that together, you can kind of expect exciting things out of it. It's so. amazing to see, you know, whenever you start something cool, how many people come out of the woodwork. Like yep, said, hey, exactly. I like yeah. you mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Cool. Fantastic. I don't know if you taking it for a spin. Sure. You want to take the microphone off first? or? Yeah. 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 Oh, there it is.